Hello everyone and welcome back New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect your Amolab W12 with Glory Fit app on iOS iPhone. Also in the next video, we will show you how to connect with Android device. Now we will show you how to connect this watch with Glory Fit app and also how to use it. To download Glory Fit app you can find on Play Store by name, or scan QR code by manual, also you can find QR code on your watch. Go to setting and app download, scan QR code and download it. You can see that we have already downloaded it, we have here login option by email and password, if you have it also you can login by third part option with Facebook, Twitter or other social media, or to press ignore which you can answer in this way without an account, but it's better for your data if you have an account. Now you can see I'm just passing these personal information, then you have to fill up these carefully with your own personal information, so you get more occurred data. You will be required to allow some app permission then go to set. As you can see we have 4 pages down below, the third phase which is select a device, press it, and you can see is start searching, be careful don't forget to turn on Bluetooth and GPS on your phone, so let's wait until it will find our watch, press watch name, and now they should be connecting. You can see we have successfully connected W12 in the phone, also we have the sign that shows us that the watch is pairing. As you can see at the top of the app we have some information about the watch. The first option, we have a dial center which we can change the face of the watch, as you can see we have plenty of them. Let's choose this one and press download, whatever you choose, after you download it, immediately, it will synchronize with the watch, and you will have a brand new face in your watch, also you can change watch faces if you press and hold on watch screen for 5 seconds and it will show some watch faces which you have downloaded before. After that we have heard rate monitoring, blood oxygen setting when you can activate auto test or other parameters. We have called a reminder, we have to allow for calls to remind us so we can reject the calls and we can see who is calling. We have the SMS reminder as well. We have push notification, for that we have to allow notification in settings phone. After that we can select all the apps we want to notify us. I'm going just to select a couple of the app that I usually use. After that we will find sedentary reminder, so you can see how to customize the timing. We have next the smart alarm clock, raise hand to activate, do not disturb. Universal setting you can see some option is shoot to take. Photo, find bracelet, units, on screen time, time system, and language device. And down below we have the firmware updates, clear date and unbind at the bottom. So let's see on the first page, we have the steps, you can see target steps, the steps number day, week, month or your statistic, daily step average, total distance and confirmation as well, target for steps, distance and heart rate here, also heart rate date down below you can see the statistic, and we have the average, minimum, maximum and a couple of other data down below. After heart rate you will find statistics for sleep day, week, month and year also you can see the average deep sleep, light sleep etc. At the second page we have the sports running outdoor walking and riding, where you can add other optional exercises, these are the options to request a GPS, so you can see we have the history as well, if you press go, it will begin the sport that you select and you can see real time result. At the fourth page or me page we have the profiles you can see all the personal information we have the goals for step, target steps that we have a weekly report, third part access, background activity permissions, system setting. Now let's see how watch work in music remote control and how it look when we receive some notification on other app on our watch. In the next video you will see how to connect with iOS. So guys this was all for today's video. I hope you find in this video some interesting and helpful things, if so hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next video with another smart device.